So when I think of Motorola, I think of my Motorola Atrix and the Joyline, and wow has time have changed. Motorola Lenovo has definitely made some changes to the Moto brand like the Moto Mods and a whole entire low to mid range market. But this is the big boy of the brand. My name is Alan Anthony and this is the Moto Z2 Force by Lenovo. The phone has the latest and greatest specs you could get right now and runs like an absolute champ. Now it doesn't have a headphone jack but I don't see no slowdowns or hiccups and it's equal to the same smoothness I was getting with the OnePlus 5. The UI in here is basically stock with a few motor apps and carrier apps. The design of this is gorgeous and the most slimmest one I've ever seen. A brush aluminum back but I'm still not a fan of the bezels in the front but the back still looks great in my eyes. The screen looks awesome but I can't say the same about the battery life. I'm only getting about 5 hours of screen on time but for that 740 price tag I would love to have better battery life like I'll getting a moto mod but another big thing here is a shatter shield display there's a clumsy person phone that can take drops like no other but you do get small little nicks on the screen that you can't get rid of fingerprint scanner is a go but let's get into the camera and some footage I shot with the moto z2 force and you be the judge Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work. We're here, we're doing a video test with the Moto Z2 Force in 1080p, 60 frames per second. I'm just taking a stroll right now. Now, I do have it in a handheld tripod right now. So, I'm going to try to walk just a little bit. I'm going to see how the quality looks. Just like that. I just want to do a quick video for you guys. I'm going to do a slow pan. Just like that. Slow pan across. Alright guys. So how does the quality look? Sky real quick. Take a look at the grass. See how the focus in is? Right. So to sum up the Moto Z2 Force is this. It's a good phone, but even a better phone with Moto Mods. 2017 is a year of the small bezels and Moto needed that to make it the complete package. Performance in the camera is good, but it needs at least a 3000 milliamp battery. Kudos to Moto for making a great phone, but I just need just a little more. Thanks for watching.